stupid we can fix in post production, just like on the TV. So today we're going to talk about Chinese cylinder heads and such, um, as opposed to good old American cylinder heads, uh, which is the stuff we normally work on here. But anyhow, this is a set of Chinese cylinder heads, or at least they look like cylinder heads. They're as you buy them, they aren't really cylinder heads. And what I mean by that is that uh, they come equipped with this little valve spring here, which has a grand total of 70 pounds of seat pressure. I have ballpoint pins that have more spring pressure than that. <clears throat> um, so as a result of that, this thing dropped a valve and messed up a seat and, you know, made a big mess and the guy had to bring it down here so we could fix it. Um, what happens is with this little itty bitty spring, it can't control the valve at, uh, at RPM and the valve bounces, the retainer bounces, everything goes all to crap. Next thing you know, you break the valve and, and all kinds of bad stuff happens and we have to fix it, right? Uh, when, when these things started showing up years ago, they were really, really bad because the seats would fall out, they had casting problems. The machine work was ridiculous. I've actually had a guy bring me a set one time that had uh, was assembled on raw seats. The valve job was never even done. They just bolted, just put it together and shipped it, right? Um, and you wondered why it wouldn't run. Uh, but now it's gotten better. Uh, these the castings are a lot better. The seats don't fall out as much as they used to. Um, and machine work is, I guess you'd say, tolerable in some cases. Um, but a lot of times, either the companies that make them or whoever's packaging and ship them out, putting their sticker on them, they just put anything. Like this is only good at just holding the, the valve in the head to keep it from fallout and shipping. Can't run it like that. But that's how they ship them. So the point of this video is just to make you aware that at the end of the day, you get what you pay for. And uh, what seems like a bargain now, by the time this is all said and done, this guy's going to have probably more tied up in his project here financially than if he just bought a set of decent American made or American assembled at least cylinder heads right uh, and especially if you factor in the, the time lost and his frustration level and downtime and such so like I say um, just be aware that when you buy this super cheap stuff a lot of times sooner or later you're gonna pay for it and that's it for this little bit video 10-4 over and out